when we find someone with kidney cancer, the person who is helping with managing the disease knows what they're doing because it's not that common. And the treatments, to your point, so chemotherapy never works, and that has to do with the ra rate of replication. The turnover is not super high, right? So that's one part. And then they tend to be radio-resistant, although we do use radiation at higher doses to kill those cells, right? And then as far as treatment, medical treatment, to your point, in general, we have these two groups, target therapy and then immunotherapy. And, and then you said most of the times target therapy includes drugs that block the vessels. So we call that angiogenic drugs, uh, anti-VHF. Um, we also use other target therapies that we use in other tumors. They're called mTOR inhibitors, uh, but those are, they have a limited role. So target therapies. And then the immunotherapies, as you said, is like the way we talk or we explain it is, you know, you know, when you think of immunotherapy, the, the cancer cell tells our immune system, our good soldiers in the body, don't attack me because I'm a good guy. And then the soldiers in our body don't attack us. But then when you bring those drugs, those immunotherapy, they block that signal. So they allow our, our soldiers to look at the cancer cell. And even the cancer is trying to tell them, I'm good, I'm good, don't attack me. The, 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 the good guys, the immune cells are going to still attack cancer. So they work indirectly. They don't act against the right. tumor, they help to boost our immune system against tumor, right? So we have those two class of agents, I guess. How does that work at the molecular type? You know, it does look like we have, or we tend to have an angiogenic profile, uh, meaning tumors that are more sensitive to angiogenic drugs. And we kind of have like these tumors who tend to respond better to immunotherapy drugs. But there's a big group in the middle, which, you know, if we, talk, we start talking about gene expression signatures, it gets a little bit complicated, where tumors are, don't seem to be responsive to one or the other. And that's when we start to combine them and try the other stuff. And, and, but in general, we've been playing around with these kind of agents for, you know, target therapies for like over 15 years now and immunotherapy for like seven, eight years now. Uh, with, with success, but that's a lot to be done still.